I'm Sophie Patterson, I'm an interior designer. I set up my company, Sophie Patterson Interiors, 12 years ago. And today we're a team of 10 designers working on projects all over the world. We've currently got two projects in Amman, a project in Portugal, and in total we're working on 14 homes for private clients right now. Um, we are very active on social media. You can follow us on Instagram to see a bit of behind the scenes at Sophie Patterson Interiors. Lighting design is an integral part of what we do and is hugely important. Um, we like to get involved with our projects right from the very beginning so that we can have an involvement with the lighting design. And um, We often work with John Cullen on our projects for our clients' homes. And I've seen firsthand what a big difference that makes in terms of the end result. You know, just having all the art lit beautifully, the light balanced around the room. Um, it really shows our work to its absolute best. So we love working with John Cullen together. And um, for our clients' day-to-day -day experience, we know it makes a big difference to how they enjoy their homes. We've just recently completed a project in Mayfair that we worked with John Cullen on. And that was quite a tricky project because it was grade two listed and we weren't allowed to touch the ceilings at all in terms of putting any down lighters in. Um, so John Cullen were great for really thinking outside the box and um, putting some fixtures that are just surface mounted on the ceiling so we could still highlight architectural features that we wanted to, highlight artwork. Um, and that project really just had so much wow factor at the end of that. Um, I wanted to change the lighting in my own home um, for a long, long time before I finally did it last year. Um, I got in touch with John Cullen, I think in about April, and um, my husband and I both really enjoy good lighting, and the lighting in our home wasn't really that great. I'd bought this house when it was a shell, and I hadn't had an opportunity to really um, do the lighting design how I'd like to do. I think on top of that, when you're a designer and you're constantly designing other people's homes, and you get to see firsthand what amazing lighting can really do for a home, it's really more at the forefront of your mind um, that you'd like it in your own home. So for me in my own um, house, things that bothered me were the fact that the light, the art wasn't lit properly, and that in the evening we'd really have to work quite hard to get our lighting to feel nice and cosy. And my husband would always dim the lights really dark because he wanted it nice and mood lighting. And then I might be cooking or reading and I wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. So we just couldn't get a balance of what we wanted. I felt that the um, light was sort of letting down the interiors of my home. Um, it was great to work with John Cullen because I could just hand over control to them about the lighting. You know, normally we always have to be sort of pushing forward every single element and thinking about what we wanted to do. But by the time I worked with John Cullen in my own home, I'd worked with them on several clients' properties. So I really trusted in them. And my whole thought process behind it was, if they tell me to do something, I'm just going to do it, even if I have a bit of doubt in my mind. So the first stage um, of redesigning our uh, lighting at home was we went to the John Cullen showroom. I took my husband, Kevin, and um, we went and we saw the demonstrations of the different lighting effects you can get. And we had a meeting with Hazel and the rest of the design team and just really spoke about what our frustrations with our lighting currently were, um, which rooms we felt we wanted to particularly focus on. And having seen some of the lighting effects that actually I hadn't even thought of previously. Um, there were particular ones that we were very excited about like with the kitchen cabinets in, in the showroom they have a mini kitchen and they have these LED strips above the cabinets and they show you it at first without the lights on and it just you know it doesn't look great and then suddenly you put the LED strips on and the ceilings feel two foot higher and the space just feels so much brighter and lighter and that for me was a real moment where I was like okay I want to do this it's going to make a massive difference to our house. So um, the other thing that was really helpful was just, you know, you, although you think you might know what you want, like some people don't like LED strips, some people don't like down lighters, um, seeing them side by side in the shelving units, we were really able to think actually which one do we like and what is it we want this lighting to do? Do we want it to be highlighting particular objects? Are there really special sculptures that we've got or do we just want a nice um, silhouette effect? Um, and that was really nice for us to sort of think about that and take our time to really think actually when we're in our kitchen we've got shelves and although we have nice pieces there we'd like to have the light evenly distributed so it's not too distracting when we're watching TV. Um, so I really enjoyed that meeting, it was just nice to sit back and let someone else do all the design work and Hazel was great, she really listened to all our um, thoughts and our feedback but I felt really comfortable in just letting her get on with it and I, I just thought you know what in this process they're the experts and I'm going to listen to them and do what they tell me to do which doesn't happen very often. 
Um, the second stage was we had a site visit and the team came to our house and they did a walk around. Again, I talked to them about some of the things in the house. I pointed out particular things I wanted to change. We discussed the feasibility of some of the ideas they had um, and how far we were prepared to go. For example, in my house, everything's decorated. I've got beautiful silk wallpaper on the walls. I didn't want to start chasing out the walls. Everything we did had to be done from the ceiling. And that did limit some of the things we were able to do, but they were able to really um, come up with some ingenious ideas of how we could take it a bit further rather than just repositioning down lighters. Um, one of the ideas that I was most excited about when it came up was the idea of highlighting my staircase and my entrance hall. It's um, a real showpiece, um, like showstopper staircase. And at night time it just sort of disappears because we hadn't done any lighting to um, highlight it. And Hazel came up with the idea of doing an LED strip around the back of the staircase and um, that would just sort of let the staircase glow. And um, they were able to do that in a way where, well, we had to check it with the builders, but eventually we realized we were able to do that without um, disturbing the wallpaper on the walls. So that was really um, exciting as well. Um, I sort of left the design team to wander around the house by themselves. I know firsthand how important it is to have that time to really think about um, the space and what you want to do. Um, so we left them to it and then several um, weeks later the next stage was they presented to us um, the designs that they'd come up with and the thoughts behind the design and what they were trying to achieve and um, spoke to us about how far we were happy to go. Um, a few things were suggested that I was on the cusp of like, oh, is it really worth it? You know, do I want to change some joinery in my kitchen, for example, in order to do these LED strips? Um, and it was quite, you know, in my head, I was like, oh, is it worth that extra expense? Because I already had really lovely shelves, everything matched. I'd had them made seven years ago. You know, would I be able to get the wood to match perfectly? I'd have to make good the wool. Um, and they didn't push me, but I just thought, you know what, they know what they're doing and they've seen the space firsthand, I should just go for this. So in the end, we ended up changing the shelves, redid the wall, and I'm so glad I did because it's one of my favourite things in the house about the new lighting. Um, then when we got the builders on, stay, on board and they started the actual building work, Hazel and the rest of the team were very hands-on in terms of doing site visits, making sure that everything was being installed as it should be, responding to any builder's inquiries. Um, things come up sometimes that you don't expect from looking at a floor plan, for example, where the joists or any supports run, if they had to move um, particular down lights, um, Hazel would be the one that would be making that decision rather than the builder thinking, oh, I'll just move it five centimetres to the left. Um, it was very sort of thought through and um, there was great communication with everyone. So that was really good for me as well, that I didn't have to be micromanaging everything. Um, the last stage, and this really took me by surprise, um, I've never actually seen them commission in our clients' projects because they do it so late at night when it's really dark and they can kind of see what the lighting will be like at night time. So I think um, the John Cullen team arrived around nine o'clock at night and I just had a baby so I was exhausted but we knew each other so well at that point I was like, do you know what, just go where you need to go around the house and commission everything. And I remember being downstairs and I was watching some TV and I came upstairs and they'd commissioned my bedroom and I just thought, oh my God, wow. Like I, at this point I'd lived with the lighting for a couple of weeks before they commissioned it. And whilst it was amazing to see the final effect where they'd positioned and angled the lights perfectly, set the scenes, set the amount of light, it just made such a big difference. And finally it had that like John Cullen look about it. So that for me was really exciting. And just seeing the level of thought that goes into it, you know, we were all laughing because um, Hazel gets called 1% because she's constantly telling her team, can we just make it 1% lower or 1% higher? And you know that attention to detail really makes a big difference. It's something that I really appreciate in the final, in the final um, finished design. The biggest difference in having our lighting redesigned, now that I've lived with it for a few months, I would say is number one, highlighting the pieces that I really love. You know, I get to walk around the house now and I can really admire my pieces of art. Every time I get a new vase of flowers and I put them under the perfectly lit spotlight, it just gives me so much pleasure to see that and enjoy how well those pieces are now lit. Um, the next thing is I don't have to spend 15 minutes turning off table lamps, which is just so life enhancing. It's given me back so much time. 
and just being able to change the mood in the room as well throughout the day. We have the is it four or five different preset lighting settings. Um, so instead of having to like go around and individually dim lights, I just press night or mood. Um, if we have a dinner party happening, I can just go to the main panel and say dinner party and it, everything in the whole house is just lit exactly how you'd want it for a dinner party. So I'd say it's just being able to enjoy your house in different settings and everything is just lit perfectly without having to really work to make that happen. Um, the other great thing, and this has really like benefited my marriage as well, is that in the kitchen we can now have lighting that my husband likes and that I like because I like to read, he wants the mood lighting and it's such a big space that we needed to be able to have one room lit for different functions at the same time. So in the living room it will be really nice mood lighting but then in the little kitchen area um, it's got more task lighting and then again in the dining area that was quite a tricky space because we have those big pendants and we had to work quite hard not to get the shadows and not to have any light on people's heads but have the um, plates lit beautifully um, and the team managed really well to just I don't know how they did it but just light everything get all the angles right so it's really made a big difference throughout the day and throughout the whole house in different rooms there's different things that I love about the lighting the other thing that I really love and that everyone seems to comment on in the house now that we've had the lighting design is everyone now keeps telling me how amazing our staircase is when people arrive at night time because before like I said it just wasn't really lit so it kind of disappeared whereas now when you come in at night time and it's got the beautiful warm glow behind it has such wow factor that's great. I think the new lighting design has just made me have a renewed appreciation of my home. It's sort of, it's showcasing my interiors, which I've loved and I've obviously had, I've lived here for eight, nine years, um, but it's given it like a refresh and I feel like everything just looks better when it's lit well. And, you know, I've had quite a unique experience where although we've tweaked the interiors while we were tweaking, well, while we redesigned the lighting, some of the rooms have stayed exactly the same, like this living room, I didn't change anything in here, but it has such a different feel now that the lighting's been changed because everything just feels a bit fresher. You know, the color of the halogens I had before were quite yellow and it changed all the color of the fabrics. My coffee table looked a lot more yellow as so everything feels a bit more fresh and, and modern, I would say. I decided to do this um, lighting redesign with John Cullen back in April. I was in the early stages of pregnancy and I knew this was gonna take a bit of time, but every time I get pregnant, I end up deciding to renovate part of my house. It's just like this nesting I get on steroids, as my husband calls it, because I just want to change everything and everything has to be perfect. And I always say to my clients, don't live in the house while you renovate it. In fact, I don't actually take on projects if a client wants to live in the house while you renovate it, because I know from experience, it's not, it's not something that's enjoyable for them. That said, I became my own worst client and I thought, yes, I'm gonna be pregnant and hormonal and I'm gonna live in the house whilst I'm having this done. And everyone thought I was a bit crazy, but actually it just wasn't that bad because we were limiting the work to the ceilings um, and I was having some decoration done. You know, the, the build team that I had, I really trust and I worked really well with, we'd used them before. John Cullen were great. Everyone was just very sort of um, understanding and respectful and tidy. So what we did was we did, um, I think we did like two rooms by two rooms so that we're able to empty those rooms um, and live in the rest of the house. And it, and it was fine, you know, I think in this was the first room we started in, in the living room and the builders just, um, they didn't take the whole ceiling open, they just moved to different um, spotlights and then they patched them in and redecorated it. And I think each room maybe took two days and then they'd move to another room. So I have to say, even though I was hormonal and pregnant, I, I didn't find it too bad at all, it was, it was quite livable. Even though I'm an interior designer and we do do lighting in-house, I know, having worked with John Cullen for several years, what a difference it makes. And I always say to my clients, if lighting is really important to you, I think we should get an expert lighting designer involved in the project because there's so many things that they'll think of. You know, technology's constantly moving forward and all these new products coming out that they'll be at the very forefront of, that you're gonna get the very best from your project. And whilst the interior designers can do a good job, I feel that if it's something that's important to you, hire that expert so that you get the absolute best um, from that design element in your home. So for me, whilst I knew I could do a, a good job, I wanted something that I could sit back and think, no, this is as good as it could possibly be and there's nothing I'm gonna wanna change about this in two, three years time. I really enjoyed the process of um, redesigning my lighting with John Cullen in my home, not only because I got to have my lighting 
perfect and exactly how I want it but I just learned so much from the process as well and I feel that as a designer I understand lighting so much more having lived through this process, lived in the house while we redesigned the lighting and seeing my home transform before when I had you know halogen lighting that wasn't beautifully designed to now having all these amazing um, lighting features in my home um, and I understand the different types and I, I know what kind of um, impacts and effects that we can get.